expectancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. for damn sure. Listen, <laughs> Chase, I'm a businessman. You know I'm a businessman because you find me at my places of business. I don't sign contracts that don't benefit me. And it happens to be the case that marriage is a contract that kind of sucks dick. I'm going to say it. It sucks dick. It's not good. It's not a good one. So then what if you got, if, if you're looking at it in terms of a business standpoint, you can get married, sign a contract, and then sign a prenup so that there's no way that she can come after your money or she can do anything in terms of like financial, but you're still giving that well, commitment prenups, if you're looking at it in terms of business. Prenups can be disputed, then the lawyers get involved, then the court case proceeds, then the lawyers are billing you three hundred dollars an hour and that's t five figures a month um, and then but if you're and then there's the court not, fees and then, i think you're thinking somebody. and you're, then you have to pay for you have to pay for if she's not making money you have to pay for her lawyer too oops so alvin sam said pew research divorced or separated adults 74 percent divorce rate for christians thanks rollo tomas yo alvin you could oh. be right um, and I, I'm, I'm not word. disputing that Pew Research published that, but like I would, Eric, scroll down. I would like to know why there's a disparity between that Wait, up, up, research up, up, up. and Back other up. research. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. right. non-Christian. Scroll, scroll down. Five, no, oh, 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 right there. Oh, 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 uh, yeah, like that's the thing. Like I, I'd like to know why there's a difference between that research and the other research that we pulled up a minute ago. Seventy-four Catholic. Wait, and I religious dude, it just, composition. The idea, the idea, bro, that Christians are getting divorced at a higher rate than like people who aren't even Wait, religious, that just doesn't make those sense. Those stats though, hold on, pull it back up because I think those stats are a little misleading and I just, I, I viewed this. Religious composition of divorced or separated adults. What is the percentage of people who are Christian in this country? Because it's not right. looking at, exactly. I, I don't think it's looking at like it's like 60% or something it's, like that. It's, it's, this is basically saying, wait, hold on. I'm trying to think. Yeah. So they're not, I'm trying to parse not this. controlling is what you're saying. Like they're not, they're not, they're not, not looking controlled. at what they, what, what you're saying they might be doing, which might be true is they might be looking at the total, the total amount of adults yeah, divorced yeah. in America. And this is the percentage of it. But the reality is that the majority of people in America are, are Christians. Yeah, so you're yeah. going to have so a it's statistical not, over representation. It's not 74% of Christians are getting divorced. It's of the people who have been divorced, 74% yes. of them are Christians, but yeah. that doesn't mean, mean that, that they're the ones so, that this, is, this isn't even point, proving the point that they were trying to make. You just, yeah, debunked. But then Sorry, also back to news. what you're saying, are they just saying like, what, like I can say that my religion is Christian, but I don't practice often. You know what I mean? So would I like, I'm not getting divorced. That's not mm. an option, but would I fall under that category right. or would I fall under right. not? So you have to think like, I mean, if how, you just say you're Christian, yeah. And a lot of people do not do that. That's anyways. what I'm saying. Like They're how many like people Christian, are actually right. practicing? And then they don't really follow. Yeah. Um, just for the sake of time, we do have to move on here. We're going to get a couple, we got to get a, through a few more super chats. Eric, pull up the Twitch so let's, really let's quick. Get into, let's get into some juicy stuff. I got yeah. some juicy stuff let's coming. Some juicy I got some, I got some control. <laughs> yeah. Let's really quick. Uh, sh uh, sh or wait, we'll, we'll pull back up the Twitch really quick. But if you guys want, head over there, twitch.tv, drop a follow in the Prime Sub. Just show of hands, who's on birth control? That's not personal. What, uh, what do you mean? This is I amazing. used to have it, but I don't. Oh, not anymore. anymore. Yeah, anymore. Okay. okay. <laughs> Gabby goes, that's so personal. I don't so want to say that I am. I don't want to say that I have an IUD. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Have you guys heard about this new birth control? It came out in 2020. It's called Fexi. Have you guys heard of Is that? The arm? No, you guys haven't heard of Fexi? Mm -mm. I don't like medicine. I, the way that he said it, it, I'm not really. Fexi. <laughs> Yo, this shit's crazy. Is that the one with the the guy that you brought on, where it's like male no. birth control? No, no, no. If it's, you know uh, about it, and we don't know about it. It's <laughs> it's uh <laughs> it's not super effective. It's like 86 percent effective. Basically, it's non hormonal. You use it right before sex. It's basically like a gel that you oh. put, in, put in the pussy. You put in the pussy, you, you insert a little thing, you put in the pussy, and then it's like, uh, it's not spermicide though, I think it's different. Ugh. What? I gotta look that that up. We're taking healthy fun. biological Good. functions and we are not breaking effective. them. Yes. And guess what? The patriarchy is winning because who's doing this? There is no this? patriarchy. No, there is patriarchy. There, there, and there's no patriarchy. There should Listen, be a patriarchy and it who, should be godly patriarchy, bruh. Listen, who is paying the price for this whole sex on demand 
abortion, birth control. It's all women. Birth control and abortion both statistically t set women up for increased infertility, increased cancer, thoughts of suicide, depression, anxiety, weight gain, like all these things. And women are paying the price and men are getting off scotch-free because there are no consequences to them having sex with whoever they want whenever they want. It's not you the know, patriarchy, you know though. Paying the it's price. not the patriarchy. But arguably, the whole feminist movement talking about the patriarchy, that is the patriarchy. That's men winning. That is men dominating women in the sexual sphere. But women... That's the psyop. That's that's the part that they don't understand. Right, but I, what I'm saying is women are being completely duped, and the modern feminist movement, which was completely hijacked by the sexual revolution, is telling women, like, no, this is women's empowerment. This is freedom. You get to have sex with whoever you want. You won't get pregnant. If you do, you can kill your kid. And who's getting off scotch-free? Men. Men are not oh having to pay. Oh, my God. He donated $200.31. As a Christian, if your heart is truly open to God, he'll Eve never so command based. you to divorce your partner. Marriage is a sacred oh union that must be honored since birth. Holy spare. shit. Chase, come back Thus, here. your husband should oh, wait, be the first just... and only man you should pair bond with. Hashtag Christ is Lord. Wait, you want to see my leg? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's what he's... <laughs> oh, oh, I think Eve mine are the same size. Eve, I'm so I'm sorry for that. We uh, that scuffed your super Purple chat. Thing. I appreciate it. Um, word. Okay, let's uh, here. Let's do this here while Chase is gone. I have a quick thing. Oh shit! Fuck! What the fuck? Holy shit! Sorry guys. Uh, can you pull up the Twitch, Eric? Oh my god. Guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow. Yeah, drop us a prime nice sub. Um, let me just shout out. We got, uh, uh, let's see here. Love, thank you for the prime. Oh, yeah. Gamer, thank you for the prime. Gifted, thank you for the prime. Cool, thank you for the prime. No start, thank you for the prime. Red beard, thank you for the prime. Obnoxiously patriotic, thank you for the tier one. He's in my community. In your cult? My community. Oh, okay, of course, of course. Dirty Dankins, thank you for the prime. Hey, thank you for the follow. Stefan, thank you for the follow. Uh, Manuel, thank you for the follow. Art, thank you for the follow. Appreciate or thank you for the tier one. Appreciate it. Art, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Okay, um, Eric, pull up X or pull up the uh, certain dude that we're gonna react to for the girls. Oh, you, ah, oh, fucking Him? Eric. What? Scroll down, motherfucker. You, oh my god. Would you guys date this guy? No, I feel bad because this is a real person, but no. It's like a picture though with a peace sign. Would you guys date this guy? Just by looking at his picture, not knowing him? Yeah. No. 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 He you looks too young for me. I, I think I outweigh him. <laughs> How much do you weigh? 150, give or take. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Yo, for me, okay. <laughs> Was that, okay. guy, was that the guy who uh, Andrew Tate got in fights with on uh, a, Twitch a little or bit? So okay. okay, just show of hands, would you guys, would any of you date no. him? No. Holly, Holly? Not my type. Not your type. Nah. What's your type? What's your type, Holly? Uh, not that. He looked like eighteen. Yeah, but what, what's <laughs> what your type? What is your type? Um, I like quite masculine men. So I like facial hair. I like um, Jason Momoa. <laughs> No, I mean, I don't have, like, like I'm not... Like, who's your, who's your crush? Who's my crush? It's like, celebrity crush. Um... <laughs> I'm good. I'm still in porn, so not yet. Sorry, uh, <laughs> sorry Jubilee. Sorry, Jubilee. Um, no, I don't have, like, a specific type. Like, I'm not set on a height or a race or whatever the fuck. I'm just not attracted to him. 